Motoroid. The Yamaha Motoroid is not just a bike, it's a technological marvel. With its futuristic design and cutting-edge features, Yamaha is redefining the way we think about motorcycles. Just look at this sleek, robotic beauty. But it's not just about looks. The Motoroid is a smart bike. It uses artificial intelligence to adapt and learn from the rider's behavior. Imagine a motorcycle that understands you. This is not science fiction. It's Yamaha innovation. Don't let the high-tech features fool you. The Motoroid packs a punch. With it delivers a thrilling riding experience. Yamaha hasn't compromised on the classic joy of the ride. Ya Yamaha Niken. The rest of the bike is a Yamaha Tracer 900 GT powered by Yamaha's well-loved staccato wrapping 847cc liquid-cooled DOHC inline-3, driving the single rear wheel via a chain. Published figures give it 104 wheel HP and 60 EULB F of wheel torque, formidable for a bike weighing 603 pounds. The rear suspension is a conventional KYB mono shock, adjustable for preload and rebound. Those front shocks are also KYBs and are also adjustable for compression and rebound. On the road, it rides like a motorcycle. There's nothing you have to adjust to for the most part. I felt right at home on the bike right away. You still lean into corners and power out of them just as you would on your two-wheeled sickle. But all those links in front did feel like they added some friction to the leaning process that you simply wouldn't encounter if there was only one wheel up front. A regular motorcycle encounters no friction at all when leaning over, at least compared to this setup. Supermarine. The brand behind the bike may not be familiar, but the engine at the heart of the Bandit 9 Supermarine certainly is. Beneath that manta ray-inspired carbon skin lies a parallel twin-cylinder engine from a Triumph. The bike can be specced with two engines, 900cc and full-fat torque-laden 1200cc form. Little has been done to the engine for the new Supermarine, presumably because the bike is already ridiculously expensive already, meaning you have a shade over 105 bhp to play with and more torque than a small galaxy. After the engine, owners can also choose between stealth and carbon. Stealth seems to come complete with race spec ABS, while carbon wraps the bike in a complete carbon skin for extra money. I assume. The frame of the bike is a thing of beauty hewn from 7075 aluminum for strength and durability. BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100. The BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 stands for the ultimate riding experience. Liberated from the need to wear a helmet and protective clothing, the rider is able to enjoy the forces. Acceleration, wind and nature as in touch with the surrounding world savoring every moment. The design of the BMW Motorrad Vision Next 100 represents the essence of the motorcycle, the perfect synthesis between human and machine. Hard to argue with them. In certain situations, the active assistance systems of the future will also enhance stability and safety by automatically balancing the motorcycle, both out on the road and when stationary. The flex frame appears as a single integrated hole that extends from the front to the rear wheel. Being flexible, it allows the bike to be steered without the various joints found on today's motorcycles. Turning the handlebar adjusts the entire frame, changing the direction of the bike. Fuller Moto's futuristic, the futuristic Fuller Moto Majestic 2029 is inspired by a little-known nine-decade-old motorcycle. Using the Zero Motorcycles FXS Electric Supermoto as a base, American bike builder Brian Fuller has created this one-of-a-kind masterpiece inspired by Frenchman Georges Roy's Majestic, which made waves when it was first seen at the 1929 Paris show 
due to its unconventional Monaco construction. While the original Majestic's chassis was manufactured with pressed steel, highly unconventional in the days of bicycle-derived steel tube frames, Fuller's creation uses 3D printed titanium components and, like its namesake, the Majestic 2029 is a streamliner with the chassis and mechanical components encased in all enveloping bodywork. Both bikes also feature a hub center steering system, but that's where the similarities end. Kawasaki J Concept The concept Joe J remains a concept, we're told, but its unprecedented adaptable design ought to be pursued for production so that we can at last ride a bike trike thing that allows us to knife through the S's with a two-wheeled sport bike's excellence and then allow us to sit upright for creeping through town or savoring the wonders of nature on a leisurely tour. Yamaha's recently announced Tricity three-wheeled machine shows that, as expected, the big Japanese companies with the resources to create and then sell machines that only remain dream machines for other manufacturers. Understand that yesterday's designs, while terrific for some purpose, BMW K75 Alpha Bullet. It's among the strangest coalitions we have ever witnessed. The most populous city in Europe, Istanbul is home to a high-tech industrial designer and an old-school machinist and motorcycle builder from Utah. However, communication has no boundaries in the 21st century, and these two like-minded individuals have come together to create the truly amazing Alpha, a motorcycle powered by a BMW. On designer Mehmet Doruk Erdem's computer in Turkey, the story begins. Mehmet revealed his arresting shark nose land speed racer BMW Alpha concept online almost two years ago. Lazareth LM847 The Lazareth LM847 is a tilting quad motorcycle designed and developed by the French custom bike creator Ludovic Lazareth. The radical design of the LM847 is based around the ferocious 4.7-liter Maserati V8 engine, making it capable to achieve 470 horsepower. The inspiration behind building such a gigantic and extreme machine is equally interesting as the creation of this French man is. France, being a part of European Union, still had their own laws of land. One such law related to automobile used to be the most irritating and depressing law, especially for the superbike owners and the motorcycle enthusiasts in general. The law forbids any motorcycle to cross maximum power limit of 100 horsepower. This simply means no superbike can be run on the French roads with power exceeding 100 HP. The restriction imposed by the government for the sake of safety used to put enormous pressure on the automobile sector, as the manufacturers had to manufacture modify their performance machines in compliance with the law. Arc Vector The Arc seriously challenges convention at every turn. There is no frame as we know it. Instead, the chassis is a carbon monocoque housing for the 16.80 WOU battery cells and motor. One of the benefits of its hub center steering compared to telescopic forks is that it separates braking, suspension, and steering forces, which allowed ARC to run a relatively light spring in the front Olin's TTX shock, along with a dramatically steep head angle of 20 degrees without compromising stability. The pivot point of the front shock is located below the front wheel spindle, which, unlike most other hub-steered bikes, allows the front to dive slightly like a conventional telescopic fork, creating a familiar sensation of weight transfer when braking.